Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 Topps Museum Collection Baseball 6 box half case break, pick your team number 20, where all cards ship, and this is the second half of a case we started last night with pick your team number 19. We did not have the quote unquote case hit frame card, whether it be silver frame, gold frame, black frame, a wood frame, or anything in that first half, so hopefully that's at least in this second half, but let's see. Uh, we here is our list of customers and respective teams. You can see there is one random number block, and it's 16 teams, so half of the league. So, if there's a team on here, there's a 50% chance it's in the random number block. But there's the Diamondbacks and that random number block down to Robert Flores and the Nationals. And here's the random number block results. PJ with nine of the spots. Chris there, you got spot number six with last spot Mojo. Uh, so whether it's a redemption, in-person one-of-one, or anything like that, that's going to be going to PJ right there. Uh, re all redemptions go to the zero spot. The other thing is um, if uh, at any of the non-numbered cards for these 16 team uh, in this break, those will all be randomized to one number in the random number block at the end of the break. So there you go. Here is those lists in person. And there's the random number block. Thanks, PJ. Thanks for getting into this, man. Anybody's wondering, yes, the Angels did give up a home run, a two-run home run in the top of the first inning tonight. Yep, they did that. So we've been doing it where, uh, or I've been doing it, where I've been uh, opening the three boxes at a time, or three master boxes, and then going through them. Good news is Otani did get a hit. He's currently on second base, and there's a runner on first. But the bad news is there's two outs, and Jose Iglesias is in. So. Uh, Duran had an inside the park home run tonight. Love that. That is very cool. Hey! Don't throw out Otani the plate. Nice. Score to run. We got one back already. Well, this is just exciting. I have to be excited because last night they were down 12 nothing by the, uh, I think, the bottom of the fourth inning. So. But uh, Otani did hit another 464 foot home run. Not yet, PJ. Not yet. It's like I said. It should be in this half. I'm assuming. I like the uh, I like the 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 heavy hand on the random number blocks since that's half of the teams in the in the league. Yeah. It's just a just a numbers game, an odds game, right? I went on a deep dive of those Atelier uh, autographs. Whoa, 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 Logan. That's just not nice. I'm sure he probably smells amazing, actually. He's a beautiful man. 
that's just a straight that's a straight numbers game right there. That's statistics 101. Um, and those Atelier autographs, are, those are selling for pretty good money. Uh, Acuna, Tatis, Soto, obviously the Trouts. Tani and Soto defying the All-Star break home run derby myth. Soto is, PJ. Uh, Otani is still, he's fine. He's still on track, but Soto is unreal. He made you a lot. That's good. I like that. Um, I like when you guys make money. He, uh, Soto has hit seven. I don't know what he did today, but he had hit seven home runs in the, in the 11 games since the All-Star break. But, like, he came out. <laughs> Adam, don't be mean. That's just, that's just hurtful. It goes right, cuts right to the, the deep part of my heart. Um, he, uh, he said after the home run derby, like, he's like, I actually feel better now than I did at the beginning of the, uh, not that much. I, I think the trout ones I was looking at, PJ, were like 1,600, 1,700. But remember, it's out of 25. Um, I'm, sh I'm not sure if there's a lower numbered version of them. I think this, the, the, the Tatises were like 1400 or something. Big box sold out, Rex. Nice. No fillers. Ow, Logan. Now you and Adam are both doing it. This is so hurtful. So we were talking about Jesus Lazardo to the. Marlins, Starling Marte to the A's. Um, I know it was like they were working on it. I don't know if it's got finalized yet, but Joey Gallo to the Yankees. I haven't heard of anything returning back from the Yankees. Maybe it's a, uh, a Vegas Golden Knights deal where they're just going to get rid of somebody and get nothing back. How could you do that to Mark andre Fleury? Especially when he's, what, eight games away from 500 wins for his career? Only the third goalie for 500 wins? He's like eight wins away or something like that. Brutal. Brutal. Now he's questioning. He's questioning uh, retiring. Which is sad. You know? Uh, those are our first three boxes. Jorge Soler for the Kansas City Royals. That's part of the 16-team random number block. 141 out of 150 is P.J. McNeely, one spot. Alex Kirloff for the Twins. Howard Zaporkin. And Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. And Eugene Clip. And Luis Garcia is our first auto. That is 14 out of 50. Rookie auto for the Washington Nationals. And Robert Flores. Autograph picture of Judge, I heard. Oh, just straight for an autograph picture of Judge. That sounds like a fleece. That's not good. That's not good, Bob. Who's a healthy scratch? Adam? Oh, Tommy's a potter. <laughs> now, Logan's literally going to make a grown man cry. Jorge Soler for the Royals. That's non numbered. Uh, that's part of the 16 team random number block. So, like we said, all non-numbered cards for the 16-team random number block, those are all going to be randomized as one lot to one of the numbers in the random number block. Judge is a healthy scratch? Okay. And Elvis Andres, dual relic auto, 12 out of 50 for the Texas Rangers. And that's a 16-team random number block. Spot 12 is... Or spot 2, PJ McNeely. Vladdy for the Expos, which is Nationals, and Robert Flores. Bob Gibson for the Cardinals, Reproduction Sketch. Cardinals is part of the 16-team random number block, non-numbered randomizer. And 36 out of 50 for the Padres, Dean Yim, Eric Hosmer, Relic. Texas 
Texas Rangers will receive Glenn Oto, Ezekiel Duran, Josh Schmidt, and second baseman Trevor Halver. Trey Turner for the Nationals, Robert Flores, that's out of 99. And a quad relic, Yankees edition. Aaron Judge, maybe being traded? No, right? Uh, Gary Sanchez, Giancarlo Stanton, Glaber Torres, all out of 75. Judge isn't, on, isn't part of the trade. Uh, that's PJ McNeely. Eloy Jimenez, the 150 for the White Sox, and Howard Zaporkin. And Clayton Kershaw, reproduction sketch for the Dodgers, Robert Flores. And quad relic to 75, George Springer for the Astros, part of that random number block. That is 22 out of 75, spot two, PJ McNeely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Seager for the Dodgers, Robert Flores, Alex Kirilov for the Twins, and Howard Zaporkin. Ryan Mountcastle again for the Orioles and Eugene Clip. And Luis Castillo, 250 for the Reds. And the 16 team random number block, spot one out of 50, PJ McNeely. Lou Bob for the White Sox, Howard Zaporkin. And Debbie Garcia, nice triple relic, all pinstripes. Rookie for the Yankees. And PJ McNeely. That is 94 out of 249. Out of all the players you mentioned, rumored PJ, the only one I've really significantly heard of, Trevor Howard. I think that's just because he's probably one of the youngest prospects. Jacob DeGrom, the 99 for the Mets, Robert Flores. And we do have a redemption. Archival autograph of Evan White, rookie for the Seattle Mariners, PJ McNeely. I don't even have to write on it. This is right there, Seattle Mariners. Ron Santo to 99 for the Cubs. That's part of the random number block. That's 71 out of 99. Spot one, PJ McNeely. And Alex Kirloff, reproduction sketch for Howard Zaborkin and the Twins. And Jeff McNeil, the Squirrel. 22 out of 50 for the Mets. Robert Flores. Does anybody know why his nickname is the Squirrel? I love it. But it's just, I don't know why. There doesn't have to be an answer for everything as far as why, but... Casey Mize and the Tigers, part of the 16-team non-numbered random number block. K. Ryan Hayes for the Pirates, also part of the 16-team non-numbered random number block spot. And Aaron Judge, Glaber Torres, dual relic out of 50 for the Yankees. And P.J. McFeeling. Chris Bryant for the Cubbies, part of that 16-team non-numbered randomizer. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals, and that 16-team random number block randomizer. And Brady Singer, dual relic auto rookie for the Royals. And 16-team non-numbered random number block, and that's 108 out of 349. Spot 8, P.J. McNeely. If he makes it to free agency, he wants to play with Lindor. Or shortstop. That would be very nice. It'd almost be like the ridiculous infield that uh, um, the Padres have put together. Four all-star infielders. Roberto Clemente to 150 for the Pirates. That's part of the 16-team random number block. 51. P.J. McNeely, spot one. And Michael Conforto, quad relic. 20 out of 25 for the Mets and Robert Flores. A latissimus strain for Dak already? That is no bueno, PJ. A 
first when I saw it out of the corner of my eye, I thought you said I thought it said Liz Frank, and I was like, uh, that's kind of serious, isn't it? Isn't Liz Frank the bottom of your foot? It's a back strain on the latissimus. Shoulder, throwing shoulder. So the important one. Okay, so let's see the frame in these last three boxes. Like I said, we did not have one in the first half. We did not have one in the first three boxes of this break. So frame, auto. Danucci. Who's their other option? You know who they need to pick up? I'll be honest. Um, I'll usually be able to tell like when I pick up the mini box, but like the outside boxes, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, you know who they need to pick up, honestly. They need to make a move for Easton Stick of the Chargers. National champion. North Dakota State. As much as I would hate to not have him on the Chargers, just in case anything were to happen, it's his time. The man deserves a chance. PJ, are you? You're not a. You're not a uh, Cowboys fan, though, are you? You're a Patriots fan. I'm assuming, right? And that's why you want them to trade for Cam Newton? Because that would be good to get Cam Newton out of there. Garrett Gilbert? Is he, uh, Garrett Gilbert, is he Texas a or Texas Tech? He's one of those two, I want to say, right? I want to... S oh. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's what I, 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 th I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's a Pats fan. That's why he wants Cam Newton out of there. Um, yeah, that would be good for you guys. But if you were Dallas, would you rather get Cam, or would you rather take a flyer on Jarrett Stidham for absolutely nothing? This one sounded heavy. This one feels cold. I think this might be a frame. It is. See? Looks like a silver frame. So we'll try to save that. University of Texas and Southern Methodist University. Go Ponies. Um, uh -huh. Stidham is hurt? Pass time, some guy no one has heard of today. Who's that guy no one's heard of, PJ? Remember, I mean, no, not and not nobody had heard of him, because Michigan fans knew who he was, but he wasn't anything important to Michigan either. But Tom Brady at one point was one of those guys that nobody knew. And then Drew Bledsoe. Jake Dolagala. Yeah, you're right. Um, 
Um, I think I did know at some point that he was attached to the, the Packers, but you've got a Stidham one of one. Well, let's hope that uh, his shoulder isn't too bad. Oh, uh, I can finally attest to the deliciousness of uh, uh, Tigres Fuego. Um, friend of Jaspi's, customer of Jaspi's, uh, second restaurant. It is incredible if you're anywhere local to Redondo Beach. Show Otani for the Angels. That is PJ McFeely. And Devin Williams. Quad Relic, 19 out of 75 for the Brewers. And 16 team random number block. That is 19 spot 9, PJ McNeely. To say that it was exceptional would be an understatement. Did I not move it to the front? Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. Part of the 16 team random number block, non numbered. Alec Baum for the Phillies. And the 16-team random number block non-numbered. And another Alec Bomb for the non-numbered 16-team random number block. And for the A's, Jesus Lazardo just got traded to the Marlins. 22 out of 50. Spot 2, P.J. McNeely. Mike Trout for the Angels. P.J. McNeely. And nice Nick Madrigal. Rookie auto, 17 out of 25 for the White Sox and Howard Zaporkin. I actually really like his autograph. I don't know how it works out to being Nick Madrigal. I don't even care. I think it looks really cool. I pulled his one of one in uh, auto, rookie auto from um, Diamond Knight Cons the other night. Andrew McCutcheon for the Phillies, part of the 16 team random number block. That is 121 out of 150. Spot one. P.J. McNeely. And nice Ryan Mountcastle. Rookie patch auto. That is one out of 15 for the Orioles. Part of, and Eugene Clip. Nice one, Eugene. Nice rookie. I don't think it makes sense upside down either. Yeah. I just don't think there's any rhyme or reason to it. It just looks cool. It looks really cool. Derek Jeter, Yankees, P.J. McDeely. And nice little J.D. Davis, three-color patch, 10 out of 10. Mets, Robert Flores. Lots of orange on that Mount Castle. Stan Musial to 150 for the Cardinals. And the 16-team random number block, that is two out of 150. Again, P.J. McNeely, spot two. Derek Jeter, sketch reproduction for the Yankees and P.J. McNeely. And quad relic for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. That is 39 out of 99. Philadelphia Phillies, 16-team random number block. Spot 9, P.J. McNeely. Christian Pache, that's the frame, so we're going to leave that stack, actually. Uh, Hank Aaron. For the Braves, P.J. McNeely. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals in the 16-team non-numbered spot. And Devin Williams, two-color uh, dual relic patch or rel <laughs> and auto. Rookie for the Brewers. That is 245 out of 318. Milwaukee Brewers, 16-team random number block. 245 spot five is P.J. McNeely. I'm... Didn't Devin Williams have rookie cards in update last year? I thought he was in, um, I think he was in Topps Chrome Update Sapphire and Update, Topps Chrome Update Chrome and Topps Update, I think. So I'm not sure if the, the rookie logo is an error or if they've been doing that. I don't think I've noticed that. 
Now I'm gonna have to pay attention. Is he rookie in every pot this year? Eloy Menes, White Sox, Howard Zaporkin. Reigning uh, rookie of the year. Jesus Lazardo again, 69 out of 99 for the A's in that 16 team random order block, spot nine. PJ McNeely. Trevor Story for the Rockies, part of that 16 team random number block, non numbered spot. And Nick Senzel, dual relic and auto for the Reds, 16 team random number block. And that is 106 out of 271, spot six. Chris Walker. There you go, Chris. Good guy. And I like Nick Senzel. Ryan Mountcastle, 50, or 67 out of 99 for the Orioles. And Eugene Clip. And Jose Altuve to 35 for the Astros. 16 team random number block, 32 out of 35. Two color patch. Spot two, PJ McNeely. Roberto Clemente for the Pirates, 16 team non numbered spot. And Rizzo, no longer maybe going to be a Cub soon. Uh, for the Cubs at this point, 16 team non numbered. And Mike Schmidt, good old Schmitty, 23 out of 50 for the Phillies and the 16 team random number block, spot three, PJ McNeely. And our frame and that box, Christian Pache to 99 for the Braves, PJ McNeely. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox, Howard Zaporkin and Bobby Dahlback for the Red Sox. That's the 16 team non numbered. And behind Fernando Tatis Jr., Silver Frame Auto, Garrett Cole, 5 out of 15 for the Yankees, and PJ McNeely. There you go, PJ. Nice Silver Frame, Silver Ink Auto, Garrett Cole. Apparently. He and the rest of the ridiculous contracts they have on their team are not enough. They need more power than Joey Gallo. So we'll see how that works out, maybe. Um, but that's the break. We've got one more randomizer to do, which is for all the non-numbered cards in that random number block, which is at least this stack here, plus any of the base cards that didn't get included potentially in here. So lots of reproduction sketches, those uh, non-numbered parallels, the wood or like the brown and whatever. So we're gonna pop back over here to a randomizer real quick. And here's the numbers zero through nine. Dice roll, whichever number ends up on top is gonna be the spot that all of the non-numbered cards for the random number block teams, which is half of the league, 16 teams, will all go to one number. So dice roll, one in the three, four times. Good luck. Fourth and final time. It's going to spot four, which odds are PJ McNeely is spot four. And there you go, guys. That is spot four. You can see spot four right there, PJ. And there you go, guys. That's the break. That is 2021 Topps Museum Collection Baseball Six Box Half Case Break. Pick your team number 20 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.